Hey guys, welcome back to ETL QL apps. So today we will discuss about the sorter transformation part two. In the previous session, we have uh, remaining two topics that we wanted to cover. Uh, due to time, uh, due to time constraint, we could not do. So in this session, I promise that I will uh, cover those two important things, right? So one thing is how do we um, how do we uh, do the sorting based on multiple columns, right? In the previous session, we have seen that we have sorted the data in ascending order based on department ID, which was only single column, right? Or single key. Now in this case, we are trying trying to see. Uh, using the multiple keys right multiple columns second topic that we are going to cover is how do we get the distinct record from the from the source and uh, we want to load the we want to remove the duplicate records right so the other two things that i wanted to cover right so before we jump to our um, you know informatica coding uh, the mapping uh, let's try to understand what does it mean when i say sorting the base data based on multiple columns right okay let's try to take an example let's say yeah, i have two two field okay one a salary and department number okay if i have salary let's say 10000 20000 and uh, 5000 okay 3000 okay something like that okay and department is 10 5 6 and 20 all right so if i use this select star from so this i am just writing the sql query so that it will be easier for you to understand right and i say order by order by sorry order by salary ascending comma department number this ascending okay so what i'm going to do is essentially i'm to trying to i'm trying to order the salary in ascending order first okay so i will just try to see which other salaries are there and uh, i will just try to put the lowest salary on top and I would like to see within this salary how many are there so only one salary right so only one salary and then department number will be 10 all right now here in this case uh, also we have uh, 20 uh, sorry 2000 5000 3000 so I will put 2000 this will be 5 and then again little bigger than this is 3000 and then it will come as 20 and here 5000 and uh, it will come as 6 right this is how the ordering of the data will happen for example let's say if i have something like this all right and then it is having let's say 4 all right and uh, maybe this also maybe same salary but department is 3 maybe all right so if something like this we have data all right uh, so what will be the output right so first what we will try to do is uh, this thousand is only a single salary but two thousand is coming two times right so what it will do is okay so first what will happen is based on the salary it will order and then it will go to the second column that is the department number that will be again ascending order so what will happen the 4 will come first because it is ascending order and then 5 will come second right similarly for 5000 right so 5000 uh, will come later anyway so 3000 will come on top that's fine and then 5000 again will come and uh, 6 will come here and this will be 3 hope you understand right so this is how uh, the output should be coming when we are actually uh, ordering based on uh, more than two columns right and in the other case if we are saying here descending right descending so salary will still be ascending order only thing this order will be changing because department i want descending which means the the higher uh, you know the bigger number will go uh, on on top 
okay this is single only this will change actually 5 will come here and then 4 will come down and this in this case 6 will come up 3 will come down right so this is how the descending order so there are the multiple permutation combination that can that you can do not only on this basis we can add some more columns also and then same rule will apply there also right so that will be a little complex so for now i think hope you understand this right now let's go back to informatica and just try to understand how did does it work right so this is the same um, mapping that i have taken from the previous session right now we will try to see it here okay so what i have done is the same thing that i have explained you right i am just trying to do the ascending order of the salary and then followed by department number right since this column are coming first so first preference will be given uh, you know to be ascending order on the basis of salary and then after that it will be uh, it will be ordering based on the department number in ascending order okay i hope th you got it right now let's try to see that this is what we have data now right no i think not this i think this is what i am expecting as part of output right so let me try to run it and then see right now we do not have any data right so let me just show you select star from uh, emp target okay we don't have anything okay let me run it I've already coded it so let me try to run it all right let's monitor a workflow all right started let's pick up it's running so we have to go back and check once this is succeeded which means the data is finally loaded right okay it's taking a little longer all right guys i think it succeeded okay let's go back and check so the previous query just want to run it and see so actually the same record that i have used as part of sql should be displayed right so you can pretty much compare it as well right whether this is the same okay so you see here 60 on top and then 40 the bottom something like this is coming right but i hope you got the concept right what it is doing it it is uh, basically ordering first uh, the records based on um, salary so 2000 is coming first 3000 after that so within the 2000 60 60 60 and within 3000 we have 40 and 90 so 3000 will come first as a salary and then department number will be in ascending order within that salary right 40 and 90 so i hope you got this idea right so this is how you can do um, using the multiple column the shorting right so not only only two columns you can do multiple permutation and combination as well right and here we can use the uh, ascending and descending order i will leave it uh, you guys to practice it i think this will be uh, fun when you actually try to do it right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of this and uh, the second scenario all right let me remove it and i will try to talk about this one right so this is the second scenario that we are going to cover as part of this uh, again right when i said distinct right distinct means entire record should be duplicate then only it will be um, uh, it will be called as a unique record so uh, means uh, you know uh, duplicate record and then we will try to get the unique record right so in sql what we do is we have something called sense distinct distinct and when i say star distinct from for from all the columns right and then emp when i say like this and this is how we can get it all right so let's go back to my sql query first select star from hr dep underscore uh, sorry underscore emp you've got 17 records right but if i say duplicate we have duplicate right obviously we have duplicates distinct okay 
so we have got only 20, uh, 12 records three are duplicate right and if I would like to check which all which all of them are duplicate we can check it obviously we can see it right if we try to order it and we can see that also I mean I will cover that query how to find the duplicate when I will take the SQL session later point of time not now but uh, I expect that you can just see that which are a duplicate and which are not duplicate right so since we have very less, less number of records here it's very easy for you to check okay let me try to do it order by employee number okay if I say it then only you will come to know so 17 records these two are duplicate so Robert one right this entire record is duplicate you see all the columns are duplicate so that means it is duplicate Cooper is also duplicate and then Andrew Cooper is also duplicate to three here and then this Akas this is also duplicate alright so this is how it is right all the duplicates now I should be getting actually when I say unique record uh, so I should be getting only 12 record that is how I used it here right distinct start so I got the 12 records here okay 12 records now same thing I am trying to do it in Informatica right so we will go back to our ports no not here I think uh, no need to do it it will automatically uncheck when I say duplicate right here it will automatically check it you see that I cannot be able to uncheck it later because I said duplicate which means it is actually going to con uh, do the ordering based on you know um, on all the columns okay so now I should be getting only 12 because as part of my output so let me try to see if we have records already or not I think I have not deleted right so let me delete it yes so delete from EMP target sorry ok guys ok all of them are record I will commit it now if I see there is nothing right no records now let's try to run the workflow and then try to see if we are getting all those 12 records which are not duplicate right so let's try to see it let's see my workflow is still running now so this is the second scenario wherein uh, we are actually duplicate uh, we are loading the deduplicated records which means all the unique records we are loading so only a single record only a single record if there are a multiple you know duplicate record for the same right it is succeeded now let's go back and check it this is my target table now you see guys we have got only duplicate records uh, sorry uh, the unique records here okay and uh, it has also you know um, based on employee number employee name everything they have uh, used the as ascending order right in that order it has taken right if you see here right so here one one is okay fine two three everything is uh, taken care right so these numbers you see one to sixteen right it is in order ascending order then these are also there these are also there all of them are dupli means uh, in ascending order only right so this is how we have to check okay so as I said that uh, we can also use the same this distinct right from trialdep dot emp this is very similar similar only only thing is I should have said order by employee number I think all of them I have to see but for now I'm just saying that's it okay hope you got it right hope you're getting all of this so uh, this is what I wanted to cover as part of 
as part of you know the second uh, part two of the shorter transformation right so till now guys we have covered uh, filter transformation and then uh, router transformation which is nothing but you know uh, using multiple filter transformation uh, to match one router transformation right that I have explained in tutorial number two and then this is the uh, this is the fourth uh, tutorial right and uh, before that tutorial number three shorter transformation part one and uh, remaining um, so and then this is the part uh, two is the tutorial number four so I think I have tried to cover uh, cover uh, all the things possible things in the shorter transformation and uh, I think this is really uh, giving you good uh, understanding of how the informatica is working okay guys one more thing so for the testing bit right you should be actually uh, doing the testing based on what it is needed right so in this case I think I have covered in the previous session but then again right so if you are actually going to get the number of records uh, if you are in, in using the dedupe right in distinct record you have to see how many records you are getting right and that should be the expected result record in the target table and then in source you have to use this particular query so that you will also get that uh, you know you will also understand that this transformation is applied so your testing will be uh, basically based on what kind of transformation you are using in this case this is active transformation and the number of records are varying the number of records in the source are more and then when I say dedupe then it is uh, going to load the lesser number of record than the target table uh, than the source table right so source and target are having distinct record different num uh, means different number of records right so um, testing is like the same kind of testing that you have to do but you have to be mindful about what kind of transformation is being used in this case we have to you can also use the minus query right here to see whether the data is properly done or not right in this case I have reverted back in previous session I have taken the e name as you know the length as 10 uh, but then I reverted it back in this session because I did not want to truncate any data right so uh, that's all guys I had to cover uh, as part of this part 2 of shorter transformation I think and I will come back with the um, you know with the next transformation I really hope that you are uh, understanding and uh, it is going great for you uh, this is not only from the testing point of view uh, this is also you know uh, always giving an age for you when you know the the coding right actual how how the coding is happening so this is really very good for you if you are understanding this concept and it is always a good impression on the interviewer also right I am trying to cover all the possible cases testing scenarios so you can keep uh, you know practicing and noting down the important thing that that I am talking about uh, during this sessions right and obviously at the end I will be trying to cover uh, some of the interview questions related to ETL testing for different different transformations right that I will talk about later but uh, yeah for now I think we are done for part 2 of uh, shorter transformation thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, see you with see you next time with the next video uh, and uh, until then happy learning bye